Hi everybody, it's Maddie from the Nina. I hope you're all well. We all miss seeing you every day, but hopefully we'll be back to normal soon. We have another art challenge for you to try. This one is making up your own monster using animals that already exist in our world. So to do this, we're gonna look at a couple examples. We're gonna look at some historical ones, like the Chimera from Greek mythology. And then we're also gonna look at some art by a modern artist who attends the Nina named Brittany Lighthizer who has been making up a ton of interesting and unique monsters for her novel. So we're gonna take a look at both of those sets of examples and then we'll get started on making our own. Here is a Greek piece of pottery that depicts a chimera, which is a mythological animal. So as you can see, this animal is made up from uh, other animals that we know of, such as the body of a lion, second head of a goat, and then a tail, which is also a snake. So if you wanted to try making your own monster, building something like a chimera would be a really great place to start. Maybe picking out a few of your favorite animals or a few animals you think would be interesting together, and using different parts of them in different combinations to create your own creature. In this biblical example, the artist added some extra heads to each of these animals to give it a really bizarre effect. You can also see that he added in some tree-like formations on the lion on the right. So that's another consideration you could make, perhaps adding other elements to your creatures that aren't exactly animals as well. There's no limitations to this challenge. You can use whatever material you want to make your monster. This example is actually a tapestry, so it's a woven piece. So if you wanted to do something ambitious like a embroidery, or a little bit more lengthy of a process, feel free to do that as well. Here are some examples from Brittany. She has been working on a fantasy novel for several months now and has been creating some unique monsters to fill her imaginary world. These examples are made on a variety of different surfaces using lots of different techniques. Some are prints, some are drawings, some are paintings but you can get an idea of her imagination and the things that she's been working on. Some of the characters are based off of existing mythological creatures. So one of her characters is a minotaur, but she's drawn him here kind of like a minotaur centaur cross. So that's a really interesting and unique perspective. You can use examples from uh, other sources, but it's always a good idea to try and put your own spin on them like Brittany has done here. Here's an example I really like. So this shows Brittany's creative process for one of her monsters that she calls Monster Mash. He is made up of lots of different monsters kind of stitched together, and his tail speaks one language and his body speaks another, which is a really interesting idea. So for this concept, what Brittany did is she made a list of traits first and did a rough sketch and then she translated that into a finished etching on the right, which she painted with watercolor. So this is a really great idea for you to try at home as well. You can make a rough version with some notes or some little sketches, and then move on to a more finished version once you have a clearer idea in your mind. So there are those examples for you guys. I hope that gave you some ideas, and I would love to see what you come up with on your own. Feel free to look at other examples on the internet from mythology or from modern artists but try and make this completely your own and completely unique. When you do make something, please let us know and share it with us on Instagram or Facebook so we can pass it around. And please keep in touch, we'd love to hear from you all. I hope everyone's doing well and we'll be back with another art challenge soon. Bye everybody.